For those unfamiliar, math notations can be really intimidating. They are symbols and symbolic expressions that have very specific mathematical meaning. Some you might already be familiar with, but others might be a bit more confusing. In this video, we will be covering three notations that have strong parallels to programming. These are uppercase sigma, uppercase pi and f of x. First, let's start with this notation, sigma, or more specifically, uppercase sigma. Lowercase sigma has a different looking meaning entirely. In fact, you may already understand it to mean standard deviation in statistics. Uppercase sigma in mathematics means summation. For example, you may see sigma like this. This can be translated to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Let's go through how. This i equals 1 at the bottom tells us that our first value of i is 1. This number at the top tells us that i will increase by 1 until it reaches 4. So for the first time round, i equals 1, round 2 equals 2, round 3 equals 3, and finally round 4 equals 4. Because the uppercase sigma is a summation symbol, we add them all together. Let's try another one. Here we start with i equals 1, but now we have 2i instead of i. This tells us for each iteration of i, we need to times it by 2. So round 1 is 2 times 1, round 2 is 2 times 2, and finally round 3 is 2 times 3. For those with experience with programming with a scripting language, this logic will feel familiar. It's just like a for loop. Here is our summation as a for loop in pseudocode. Our next notation is uppercase pi. Again, you may already know lowercase pi as 3.14, that special number that is the ratio of the circumference to diameter of any circle. Uppercase pi is the product notation. The product notation is typically written like this and translates to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. Just like sigma, i tells us where to start, in this case 1, and the number at the top tells us where to stop at 4. Again, to programmers this will feel just like a for loop, but this time in the statement, the for loop multiplies instead of adds. Essentially, uppercase sigma and uppercase pi work the same, except sigma is asking you to add all the numbers, and pi wants you to multiply them. Our final maths notation will feel extra familiar to programmers, and that is f of x. This is also called a function. If we have f of x equals 2 times x, then for whatever value x is, f of x is that times 2. Here's an example. If x equals 3, then f of x is 6. f of x can also use whichever letter you'd like. For example, we could have g of x equals x divided by 3. So if x is 6, then g of x is 2. Another cool thing we can do is chain these functions. If we have f of x equals 3x and g of x equals x divided by 2, then we can have g of f of x. Let's try this for x equals 4. First, we go to the innermost function to get f of x. So 3 times 4 is 12. Then 12 goes into our g function and we divide it by 2 to get 6. So g of f of x is 6. In pseudocode, f of x and g of x would look like this. I hope this short video has shown you how math notations can be used for basic programming concepts such as for loops and functions, and will help you in the future translate between mathematical equations and practical code. Thank you for watching this Data Science Moments on Math Notations for Programmers, and please let us know which topics you'd like us to cover in the future.